What's up? Cofield for Carlo here, and we're back on CBS Franchise Hockey for a different type of video than usual. And it uh, will be similar to what to the first video we did on uh, the game, which was uh, tips and tricks of um, what to do when uh, you're starting the game. But today, we're answering Mesky, Mesky's one was questions, which was uh, how and when to use legend coins and how uh, to target players in uh, special draws. So uh, before getting into uh, the video, I just want to shout out our 46th subscriber. Unfortunately, I can't shout him out because his subscriptions are not public. So if you want to shout out, make your subscriptions public and please subscribe. We're almost at 50, which is my goal for the next month. Okay, so let's get into it. So first things first, how can we use legend coins? Basically, there are three ways of using legend coins. And the first one is by going right here into moments. Uh, moments are uh, bonuses that you can be ha added to uh, every card of a certain player. They cost one legend coin each. When should you buy moments? The question, uh, the, the answer is, when you have an ultimate and you want to make it better. You should only buy moments when you need that upgrade for that specific player. Because if you decide to buy it just for fun, it's going to be a bit of a waste of coins because you could have spent those coins towards a player that you could have needed, but instead you got a moment that you're not going to use. So um, yeah, use it only if you need it on a specific player. Um, there are three ways of getting moments. The first one is by getting the free moment pack on uh, the left. Uh, you can collect it every four days for free. The other way is by going through the series, the different series of moments and finding the one that you need. Let's say I want Ryan Ellis. Well, from that point, it's randomized. You buy that pack and you get a random of these of these moments. So you might get it on the first try or you might get it on the last try. So it's all randomized. So you might get some that you don't need. So that's why only buy if you absolutely need it because you'll be wasting a couple of coins if you're targeting one that you not really need it. And the final way to get a moment is uh, by uh, buying ones of the, one of these three who are uh, showed right now, they are um, they change every single day. So today we have McDonald, Dion, and Koivu, and tomorrow it's gonna be different ones. And they're they're the only one that you know absolutely, you're sure that you're gonna get these ones. Okay. Second way of using legend coins is by going right here into player packs and buying legend packs. Unfortunately, you can only start buying legend players once you hit legend 1, which is level 100. From there, you unlock legends 1, the legend 1 pack, that you can get for 3 legend coins, I believe. After that, you unlock a new series of legend every 50 levels, and the cost of the pack is one more coin than the previous series, so uh, Legend 2 will be 4 coins, Legend 3 5 coins I believe, and uh, it goes uh, like that. Um, in these packs, you can get Legend players and also SP players, just like the series packs, you, as you, you can get SP. And you can get SP in Legend, and those are used for certain ultimates. When should you buy legend players? You should buy legend players as soon as you hit legend because you want to start buying these players because they'll, they'll be the foundation of your ultimate players. I mean by a foundation because these legend players will be needed to, you'll need to upgrade them to the max so you can make an ultimate. So let's say I want to make an ultimate and I go to ultimates right here. I'll need it says collect and fully train legend Tony Amante. So you unlock in legend 2 and then you upgrade it to the max and get his SP or his base card 
yeah it is basically uh, a limited edition and his sp so that's why i'm saying that once you get to legend you should start buying these packs um yeah so getting them early will really help you out okay and the third way of using um legend coins is to buy uh limited edition players these limited edition players are the ones right here that you can get um every once in a while in a release like their name suggests they're limited they're part of a themed release like heat wave that we have right now and we also had the uh, last month it was um what was it was it postseason rush i don't know well every month there's a release of three ways waves of 10 players so here's the first wave second wave and third wave so i have three waves like that and also every month there's one wave of a previous release that comes back in the vault and that gives you a second opportunity to buy old limited players that came uh uh years ago or months ago depending on when they were released and you might ask when should you buy these limited players well it depends on which type of players yeah it's kind of complicated but you'll understand my in my opinion the most important position in the game is goaltending so um having an ultimate goaltender when you get to legend will help you out uh, for months, maybe years. Ask the CBS Hockey Franchise community and uh, on Facebook and they'll tell you exactly the same. So in the tier ones, if we go and look at um, these ones right here. So Barrasso, Lindbergh, Lundqvist, Moog, Van Beesbrook, Vernon all, are all extremely important players that you want to get before getting to legend if in a limited edition release there's an ultimate one goaltender target it and make sure you get it no matter the level you're at because they're very very rare and they don't come back very often in this release there isn't any goaltender uh and yeah there are goaltenders but there isn't any tier one goaltender so in this release you shouldn't target uh, you can't really target these uh, goaltenders and like uh, Meski said in his comment these um, tier 1 goaltenders I, I already told in my uh, tips and trick videos to target them but they really really don't come out um, often so that's why he said that he didn't see any well that's why so when you see them buy them no matter what level you're at after that, you should wait until you're level 50 or 60 around that before buying more limited edition. And the reason for that is because their overalls, once you buy them, match what level you're at. So that's why they don't have a level right now. It's because they match the, the level you are at. Um, that means that if you get a limited edition at level 20 and one at level 80, let's say, the last one you'll get, the one you'll get at level 80, will be significantly higher. Um, so yeah, you should wait until you're around level 50 and 60 because you need to get some um, legend, uh, some players before getting to legend. And uh, yeah, last, uh, last thing, um, the overall of these limited edition players maxes out once you get to level 100, which is a uh, legend. And that also applies to showdown players and players you buy from the bundles in the shop. So if you're wondering when uh, is the right time to buy uh, these players, well, but if you want the best overall possible, wait until you're a legend. But yeah, once you're around that level, 50 or 60, I would start targeting uh, limited players for ultimate ones. You can see the little one, uh, there isn't any of this release here. Bowmeister, he has a uh, little one, and uh, we also have hey, hey Duke that has a level one. Those are players that you can get for ultimate ones. Those are the ones you want to target because they are the easiest 
to convert into an ultimate because they only need one limited player. So that means if you get that Bowmeister, you have his ultimate, as you have his limited, you get his SP card, and then his legend that you train to the max, and then you got his ultimate, which is a great card that you lose for months. So that's why I'm saying that you need to get limited edition players uh, before getting to legend, because if you get to legend and you don't have any uh, limited edition players, you'll have the, their legend, but you'll have to wait until you get um, some limited edition to make uh, their ultimates. Okay, so once you have targeted the ultimate one's goalies and the ultimate one players, I, I'm pretty sure you should wait and save up your coins for legend because you unlock um, ultimate two and uh, over, let's say ultimate two, three, and four um, later in the game in like months because like I told you, the legend two are only available 50 levels later. So it took me five, uh, five, four months to get to 100. So let's say another two months to get to 150, which is Legend 2. So that's quite a long time. So you should start saving your coins from that moment and stop buying these legend, uh, limited edition players. So let, because let's say you get the Gillies, who's a Ultimate 3. You'll only get him in a couple of months, maybe years. So you should wait for that. And here's some more um, useful information that I want to, to share with you guys. Uh, when I say I target a certain player, I mean try and hope to get him. Because um, there isn't any way to have a higher chance of getting the, the player you want. So let's say in this series you want Lafleur. Well, it's all randomized. Uh, someone might get that Lafleur on his first try. And it might take you six tries. So it, it's all luck basically so that's why it's very very important that when you try and target a player that you want you absolutely need to have a hundred legend coins just in case it's the last player you get and in that case you'd be really unlucky because i've seen lots of people who started with 60 70 legend coins and spent all of their coins on a, sp a specific series and trying to get let's say lafleur and didn't get him so you've wasted all of your legend coins and didn't even get the, the player that you wanted. So that's why you want to have always always have a hundred legend coins minimum saved up. And another important part of targeting a player is to stop buying these limited edition players when you got the one that you wanted. If you're not going to use the players that there are left in the series, the best move would be to save up your coins until there's another release that has the, the player that you want. Because what would be the purpose of uh, wasting these coins of players you're not going to use? So save them up. And uh, when maybe let's say you get uh, to Legend, buy, buy more Legend packs. Because these packs have all the Legends you need for Ultimates and even SP. So these packs, I'd say you should buy more than um, limited edition players that you're not going to need. Alright, so I think that does it. Uh, for your question, Meski, if something's not clear, comment it down below. I'll post another comment. I'll respond or I'll make another video if you want. But that's all that I've came up with for my tips. Um, I think that's pretty clear. Watch it again if you need or comment down below. Like I said, drop a like if you like the video and uh, subscribe for more videos, tips and tricks and uh, my progression on this game. But uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Peace.